rifle it. There is the rifle, but I cannot get it. Maybe if I move him. <laughs> it is a sticking. Look at that, it's on his hand. <laughs> it's glued to his hand. <sighs> okay. That was crazy. Fucking insane. So I just had a battle with with a companion, a possible companion. Okay. Why did I shoot him? I don't know. I think it was that the game saved or something. Who the fuck knows now? <laughs> uh, that was fucking crazy. Is the doctor still there? I cannot see well enough. There she is. Uh, that was ridiculous. What can I do for you? Heal me, doctor! That's not so. Alright, I'll just get. That was the most pointless fight I just... I just had. <laughs> the most pointless, and I've had a few of those already. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, where do I go now? For the last quest of the night. There's up the great at Boulder City. Head to Repcon to the west of Nowak and see if there are ghouls there. Those are the ghouls they are talking about, I'm not going there. I thought they were talking about regular ghouls. Not... I, I mean the, the ones that talk. I guess not. Oh, those are the other ghouls. Seems to me it's still following me. Maybe I can enlist the help of these people. Ah, 
Thank you very much, Rambo. Hey. Hello, partner. Okay. Ardenes, I will do that more often now that I know it works. Thank you. Well, let's get to Alder City and see how far that way we can get. But I think that that light will give up, will give out my position. Reveal it. So I won't use it that much, but yeah, when I, I had a few places I could have used uh, an extra light. Let's go that way. It must be one of these two. It's a dog. How oh, does? Okay. Uh. Where is the human? Maybe he's inside. That would make sense. What? Reina, this guy is Latino, sir. Yeah, it must be. All the dogs have Spanish names. Frey. <laughs> Reina and Rey. Classic. Dog is blind. Okay, let's talk to this idiot. Mr. Gibson. Ah, oh, Lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Really? Why do I call you the old lady? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Well, I thought she had a sex change. She was Gibson, and she became an old lady. Or he was Gibson. <laughs> Whatever. What do you know what Helios one? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. What can you tell me about Repkin? Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon. Even my favorite chair. Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. 
Okay. Harvey Gibson. That's a strange name. Ah, I was going to put this on. So let's sell this. Why not? See what she has. Uh, moto increases damage. Laser rifle focus optics. I don't have a laser rifle. No, except okay. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, it's something repaired. Sure thing. Let me have a look. Really? I, nah, I need the caps. Let's so talk you're more. back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, no. Let's not talk more. Okay, let's put on that berry before I forget I have it. I look dashing! Okay. Like a crazy bastard. Alright, let's go. So, uh, there is a power plant ahead. That's what they keep telling me. That must be it. Helios 1, let's go there. A uh, little chat with the Republic. So the Republic displaced both the Enclave and the Brotherhood and both ended up in the capital wasted. Ilius won. That's an interesting storyline to explore, if you ask me. So that's the reason everyone is in the capital wasted. The California Republic is taking over. This the is West a restricted Coast. area. State your business. I'm a terrorist! <laughs> no. I saw this place in the distance and wanted to investigate. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. Let's go with science. I noticed your solar tower isn't collecting much sunlight. I can help with that. No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. Have him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. Keeps his sunglasses on all the time. Even when he's sleeping. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> okay. Why are you here and not in the front lines? Isn't that more important? Obviously not. Infrastructure is what keeps the machine, the war machine going. I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, if we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Shouldn't there be more people defending this important power plant? There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. Ah. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why was the Brotherhood here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could. Lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. Jerk-offs. Well, but when 
you take by force something that others have worked their fucking asses? They usually don't take it kindly. Alright, let's explore this place and I think that will be it for today. The dawn of a golden age. Tuesday, February 16 at 2 p.m. The technicians will be running the test of Archimedes and its connectivity with our planned security system. Under no circumstance should any employee be outdoors on the planned grounds until the alarm clocks on assist and all clear has been given. We have death and dismemberment waivers from all employees on file and are not responsible for any accidents that should occur during this procedure. Protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the deck. Results. The initial testing of Archimedes was a success, though not an unqualified one. Several minor systems were overloaded despite all the precautions taken, and the two and a half minutes of downtime following the test is something we can work on improving. More importantly, we received reports from nearby facilities that they experienced a system frying power fluctuations at the time of the test, not only the Black Mountain Communications Array and the military bunkers at Hidden Valley. We are going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Brigadier General Scott Lowe of the US Army will be visiting the facility starting next Monday and staying on site indefinitely. When Archimedes goes live, he will be the one person where the only person here allowed to authorize its use for anything other than a test. Civilian employees will not require to salute. But it is expected of everyone that you observe thorough grooming and hygiene regimens and dress neatly while the general is with us. The general expects the best from all his men and Poseidon men should Poseidon send that the oil rig should be no different from the presence of such fine and decorated soldier. Can I tell him? A Poseidon energy publication from new employees. As a member of the Poseidon family, it will be natural for you to become enthusiastic about the incredible endeavors that will be undertaken with us and to want to tell others. But a second here, my good man, let's take a minute to consider that would happen if the company information fell into the wrong hands, and those hands might be. Can I tell you? Can I tell my wife? Well, let's say you do. You tell her not to tell anyone. Your bond is sacred, but a woman's evil tongue <laughs> is the polywalk wheel. What? What the fuck? Well, whatever. It'll be. I'm guessing that's. Whatever. Fuck this shit. Jump. We're supposed to be relieved any day. That's what they keep telling us. I don't think anyone's coming. Yeah, every day they tell you that the next day will be the day the day never comes. Well, it's good they are so open. Let me steal everything. Woo -hoo -hoo, what the fuck is this shit? It's a huge... No! It has crashed. Okay, so I'll leave it here for today. Looking at this fine specimen. And the dog beside her. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you tomorrow when we continue exploring Helios 1. And find out if that guy is a saboteur and how we can help him. Until then... Long live the enclave.